Hello beautiful souls. This is the astrology for the week of August 19th through 25th. And then after this, we'll go into your spread. So we're going to start with the retrogrades. We still have Neptune, Saturn, Pluto, Chiron, and the North Node um, in retrograde. All of this has to do with reviewing your desires and opinions. Um, getting your goals in order. Um, <clears throat> there was lots of there's lots of mix up mix ups and understand. Uh, sorry, misunderstandings <laughs> um, this week because of things that were neglected or not dealt with are going to be brought out this week. Also, we're still in the habit of uh, banishing bad habits, negative people, things like that in our lives, only putting positive things in our life. You're gonna feel the need to do that. It's like you're gonna have choices, guys, and you're gonna make the choices to put things that are positive because you're still re cleaning up your life and um, redirecting your, your life plan in your direction okay so on the 19th we start with three things we have mercury retrograde just for the 19th okay and then it's going to go direct so um this was about clarity personally um lowering your expectations of people um not be in that what happens is it it lets you be not so disappointed in what people do. Now, as it goes direct, you're going to start um, holding people accountable, moving towards the, the, the week, okay? Then we have Mars in retrograde for the entire week and Uranus in retrograde, okay? So Mars in retrograde um, in, in this particular area, because it's kind of divided up, um, it's about social issues. Um, so socially where you have been, uh, keeping yourself hidden, you, you're going to start to come out of that a little bit. You did last week. Um, but definitely this week you'll, you'll start to do that and try new things, uh, meet new people, start being a little bit more open. Okay. Uranus in retrograde talks about financial freedom, things that you're already working on financially, um, career moves, um, jumps that you're taking for money or that you're already in the midst of doing are going to become easier. Okay. They're going to become better. Things are going to, uh, go your way more financially. Okay. Then as we move to Thursday, we have sun and the sun moving into Virgo. Happy birthday, Virgos. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> so the sun moving into Virgo is all about analyzing. And it's all about other people as well. So now you're starting to realize how other people serve into your life now how they can serve you but you know how you can work together with other people all right so let's pull three cards to see what the energy is for this whole week and then we'll go into your individual energies for your particular sign so this is like a general energy we have dedicated effort spread your wings and the devil card okay which is master so this is a week of higher understanding okay um you have been learning to work with people and work with situations i feel like you've been um almost pushing yourself and your wants down to to make things work um and it just feels like you're working really hard regardless of what you're going through you're pushing to get to your goals or the things that you want okay and what that's doing this week is starting to open up things to you okay so 
it's starting to open things up. You're going to have opportunities. So um, I see you needing to see these opportunities for what they are so you can grasp them. This is only a two. So it's about you being in union with what it is that you see and what it is that you have worked so hard to bring into your life. OK, so you're going to have to learn how to let go of old situations, let go of old people, let go of old feelings so you can receive what is actually due to you this week week okay so let's go into your reading for the week hello Pisces this is your weekly reading for the month of August 19th through 25th so let's see what spirit has for us this week Okay, I stopped because I was hearing something. Um, you're having a breakthrough this week, Pisces, about something. Something is coming to a head, um, but it feels more like a breakthrough, understanding of some sort, because it feels like an emotional breakthrough or a mental breakthrough about a particular situation, okay? So on the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of pentacles and the queen of cups mm. okay pisces there's something that you don't want to open your heart to because you're trying to be more straightforward you're trying to be more uh, I don't want to say analytical. I want to say more, it feels like Capricorn energy, like very um, methodical, rational. I feel like that's what you're trying to be this week um, because that's how you feel like you're going to work on things or make things um better or ma things make sense things will be easier okay and you're trying to kind of leave behind your emotional way of doing things but by doing that you're replacing your um intuition which is not really good for pisces okay um you need your emotion and you need your intuition it's healthy for you to learn how to balance both of those things all this feels like it's coming from this loss here okay um, emotionally you may feel like you're not gonna have something or you've let something go or something sad happened okay they're telling me to pull another card yeah something that you were trying to build um, this could be a career a relationship um, but there's trouble in paradise. That's what they're telling me. Okay. Um, and there's pessimism, uh, separation. Um, you're feeling lonely. It just doesn't have that full connection like it should for you. And you're thinking of moving forward. Um, I feel like you feel like you've done as much as you can. Okay. And it's time for you to put your plans and your ideas into action okay like what it is that you want for yourself you want to be strong in your decisions you want to feel like you're making the right decisions now there's definitely some discord in between you moving forward and what you want and what's actually happening There's a lot of inconsistencies. Things are not going the way that they should. And I feel like this is causing you to have a higher understanding with the temperance being here. So it's making you have more balance in trying to figure out what it is that you want and don't want. So a lot of things from inside of you are coming up. This may be a week of a lot of crying. Um, even though you're trying to suppress it and, and, and be stronger, you know, on the outside inside, 
you may be an emotional wreck, okay? Because of the discord and the pessimism and you wanting to move forward and both of these are conflicting. Now, the temperance does talk about balance and getting in tune with yourself. But I do feel like it does also have to do with restraint. But to me, it feels like that's what you're doing for everyone else. Like for everyone else to see. The Queen of Swords is here. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius that is not being very nice to you. And they don't seem to be breaking. Okay. Um, this could also be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with this person, um, they are acting like they want to move forward but there still is that break in between what you want and what they want okay um with the queen of swords um i feel like you're noticing that if you lean towards one th this is what i'm seeing pisces let's picture this as like a seesaw on one side you have um practical matters work being like, I don't need anyone. I'm closing everything off. I'm just going to focus on myself. On the other side, you have your emotions. Okay. Your emotions um, and your intuition and love and care and nurturing. Okay. Um, by weighing one si any side heavier than the other on this seesaw, you're going to miss out on what makes you you. So you're learning how to be more balanced this week and how to use both of those sides for, for you to be your best you, okay? Which is what the temperance is coming in and doing. It's creating that balance in yourself, okay? This is definitely going to help you move forward and it's going to help you actually see people for who they are. Because when you're so emotionally invested in someone or you've been there for so long or you have such strong, you know, attraction to them, you don't truly see them for who they are. You see them for who um, you want them to be pretty much in your head. You know, you manifest who they are. Um, but I feel like you're expanding. I definitely feel this. It feels very spiritual to me. And it feels like you're, spirit, you're expanding and you're starting to go into something else and begin to be a new you, right? But you have to make these decisions. I feel like you've made bad decisions in the past. Not that they were bad in general. I feel like they were just to see if this was the last straw almost. That's what it feels like. Okay, so I'm going to pull an oracle card for you, Pisces, for this week. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. And this is what you need to focus on. Is this going to serve your higher good? And that's why you're starting to see what you really need. Balancing the two so you can see clearly. I, I clearly understand that. And it has to do with you being in more healthy relationships with people, with family members, with anyone. Okay? This is going to help you build a foundation to be stronger in your relationships in the future. So thank you so much for listening, Pisces. And if you have... If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to help you with that. Okay, just click on the link in the description box below or go to the website. That'll be probably right there on the table. So thank you so much. I love you so much. Love and light. Bye-bye. <laughs>